Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm going to show you how to do an ombre effect using some masking to create some cards. I'm going to be using the Kaleida Color in Fresh Greens from Imagine, the Versamark, and some gold in Emboss Powder, and then also a big jumbo dauber. So to get started, the first thing I did was using my Create a Station Light from Xyron and using the repositionable adhesive, I just ran a scrap piece of paper through and this is how I make my mask, masking paper, masking, however, whatever you want to call it, tape. So I'm just going to peel that off like so. And then down one side, I'm just going to roughly just create a pattern by tearing it. And then on my card, I'm just going to lay it down on one side. Like that. So now that the extra is hanging off the edge, I can make my paper so it stays right there. And then using the Kaleida Color and the dauber. I'm going to start on the lighter end. The Kaleida colors, you can slide them together so the colors are all together or apart. Right now it doesn't really matter so I'm going to keep them apart. And going like half and half where I'm getting a little bit lighter and a little bit darker. The darker one up. And then I'm just going to run it up like this on the card. And then using the next two colors, I'm going to do the same thing. And then just can repeat the process all the way to the end. There we go. Like that. And when I peel this off, have a nice pattern right there like so okay so now for the next one that I'm going to show you a different way of doing it the same thing I ran the scrap paper through the Xyron create a station light and then I punched three different or die cut three different size circles out of it so I'm going to peel this off then just lay this down on the front of my card. Like so. And then doing the same idea. I'm just going to go sideways. Kind of at an angle on the circles. So like that, and then the same when I peel this off, I have my circles that look like that where the color goes lighter to darker. Okay, so the next step I took a die cut of some leaves, and then I'm just going to take my Versamark and just pat it over the top, and then put it in my embossing tray so I don't get powder everywhere. And then taking the gold emboss embossing powder. And then I'm just going to pour it right over the top. I actually want to pour it pretty thick because I'm going to dip it back into the embossing powder that I have in the tray. So taking a pair of tweezers, finding my die wherever it's at. <laughs> There it is. And I'm going to heat set it. And then while it is still hot, I'm going to dip it back into the embossing powder that I have over here. So 
So I embossed it three times in the gold so you can see it gets more of a, a thick metallic look. And then the extra that I have in my tray, I just pour right back into the bag. So now I'm going to stamp the sentiment thank you using my Misty with some Versamark. And then I'm also going to emboss that with the gold embossing powder. So now I'm just going to use some Tarot tape on the back of the card front and then adhere it to my card base. And then for the die cut piece over here, I'm going to use some on point glue and adhere that down to the front of my card. Okay, both of my cards are now completed. I added some sequences on there. So you can see that one, and here's this one. I added onto a green card base. At first I was going to do a white card base, but I decided it needed a little bit more and did a green and added some sequences on that one too. So there's both of my cards. Thank you so much for watching, and please visit imaginecrafts.com for even more inspiration. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.